doctor came in and he pulled up a chair and sat in front of my bed. He says, well, if you keep drinking the way you are for another year, you could have five years left or that could drop to three. And right there I woke up and I had an intuition. Something told me, you know, you're getting close to going to the other side or maybe dying. here at beautiful Daytona Beach for another bike week. The beach. Well, every bike week I've been to has been totally crazy, and what we can expect to see here, I have no idea. Bike week in Daytona Beach is the number one bike rally in the entire world. It's been going on for 65 years. 600,000 people come to Bike Week. My whole purpose of being here at Bike Week is to show off the bike that I designed because I'm starting Knievel's Custom Cycles up in Jersey, and that's why I brought it down here. The biggest challenge for the week is that this is Daytona, and although we're down here for business, as the network believes we are, there's also, you know, a bit of history with Robbie. Are you a photographer? You're holding the lens wrong. You're supposed to hold it upside down. That's really <laughs> Robbie's coming out party. Really, it's the first time that he's been associated with a television show. Oh, my goodness. What's funny about it is you take a guy who grew up in this environment and you put him here for business, and it's, it's hard to make that transition because Robbie's been coming to these bike rallies for years. So everybody in Daytona knows Robbie. I get in trouble once in a while. There's a lot of temptations at bike rallies. There's a lot of temptations everywhere we go, but there's usually more at bike runs because it's like going to Vegas if you don't live in Vegas. Robbie's Robbie. He makes his own decisions. He left home when he was 16. He does whatever the hell he wants to do, and nobody controls him. 